The Super Trend Indicator has a promising name. Does it live up to its name, and can we make a profitable Super Trend Indicator strategy? Our backtest reveals that the indicator can catch most of the returns while avoiding the worst drawdowns, thus giving good risk-adjusted returns. Let's show you what the Super Trend Indicator is and how it performs. As you can see on the screen, its performance has been pretty good. First off, what is the Super Trend Indicator? The Super Trend Indicator is a trend-following indicator, and its trading rules are simple. The chart on the screen shows how the Super Trend Indicator works. When the price is above the indicator, you're long and you sell or reverse when it drops below. Before we present the trading rules in our back test, let's briefly explain how the Super Trend Indicator is calculated. The indicator consists of a median price added and deducted the average true range of a specific look-back period. Despite using two bands, the Super Trend Indicator has only one signal line. This is because the lower band can't decrease and the upper band can't increase. Thus, the Super Trend Indicator takes on the values of both the lower and upper bands alternatively. When the close of a bar crosses the value of the Super Trend Indicator from the previous period, the indicator begins to follow the opposite band, leading to a reversal in the trend. A trade example is shown on the screen for S&P 500. The buy signal was triggered on the 29th of May 2020 at 3044, and the sell signal triggered on the 21st of January 2022 at 4397, resulting in a nice gain of 44%. Because the indicator is quite technical, we recommend reading our linked article below the video for further explanation. The Super Trend is a trend following indicator and it requires a long term mindset. We've back tested it using short term data, but it works best on very long time frames. Let's show you a Super Trend trading strategy with specific trading rules. We buy when the price breaks above the indicator and sell when it closes below. We use weekly bars with a 10-bar look-back period and a multiplier of 3. You can, of course, try other values, and we strongly encourage you to backtest yourself. We have the code for the indicator on our webpage. We backtest S&P 500 from 1960 until today, and it returns the equity curve shown on the screen. 100,000 invested in 1960 is worth almost $4 million today. It's only 38 trades since 1960, so it doesn't trade often. The annual return is almost 6%, not considering reinvested dividends. Please note that max drawdown is significantly lower compared to buy and hold, 24% versus 56%. Because you're invested only 63% of the time, we might argue that the risk-adjusted return is 9.4%, significantly higher than buy and hold of about 7%. We calculated risk-adjusted return by dividing the annual return by the time spent in the market, it's a simple formula, but we believe it's a very good proxy for risk and return. That's all for today, and good luck trading and investing.